Has any one of you seen this little donation box? No? It was outside, near the entrance. Yeah. For those who saw it, did you put something in it? Yeah. Okay, let's check. Okay. One euro, okay? It's not much. That's no big surprise. It's been shown that it's difficult to raise donations in younger target groups. And as I can see, you are a pretty young audience. Or maybe I just did a bad job with the poster. Normally people donate in two situations. Around Christmas and after catastrophes that are widely covered in the media. You know, that's okay. But it's a problem for charity organizations because they need more regular donations to plan and organize the work in longer terms. Their work is not only emergency aid, it's about sustainable development aid. Young people, millennials like you, care to see the impact of their gift and want to know where their donation is going. Of course you do. Nobody wants to throw their money into a black hole. And young people want to be more inspired and involved by the nonprofits. This is shown in the Millennial Impact Report of 2013, and there I found an interesting quote. It's about being part of something rather than feeling sorry for someone. So, this was a task from our client, Miserio, raising donations on a regular basis in a younger target group and doing so by communicating Miseria's initiative two euro a month help. But how? Normally, charity organizations use pictures of pitiful children and pitiful situations in their advertising to try to motivate people to give. Should we do the same for our client? Should we show more of these types of pictures with even more cruelty, maybe? Ask yourself, would you like to see even more shocking pictures? And where would the spiral end? After brainstorming, we came up with this thought. Imagine a street. There are two men who ask for your money. On the one side, no picture. Great. Wait. Yeah, on the one side, there's a beggar. On the other side, there's a street artist. Who would you turn to? Sure, most of us feel pity for the beggar. Nevertheless, most of us will ignore him. Why? Because he makes us feel uneasy, helpless, uncomfortable. Looking at the street artist is easy and entertaining. So we came up with a strategy. Be playful, not pitiful. We are convinced that showing the positive effect of the donation is the key. And even more so if you get young people directly involved. And this is what we did. I show you three examples. First, we built a billboard to show that even two euros can move a lot in the third world. With a donation of two euros, you can support healthcare in India, agricultural project in South Africa, or education for farm children, electricity supply and sponsor sports in Liberia, or cultural funding in Argentina. At the end, your photo appears, ready to be shared on Facebook. Okay. It doesn't look like it, but this was really hard to build. After weeks of planning, I spent the last two days and two nights without sleep while building this, having heated creative discussions with illustrators and technicians, 
And sure, we drank a lot of uh, coffee, coke, and beer, which the client, of course, didn't pay for. And after having so much fun with scissors and glue, we stuck to the do-it-yourself concept, still keeping in mind our strategy, be playful, not pitiful. This is a football table with all the typical shortcomings of football pitches in Africa. With two euro, you can directly support children and youth sport programs. Local agriculture or the construction of hospitals. Drinking water wells and schools. A Facebook app spreads the word on the social web. Once logged in with your profile, your games broadcast via live stream and ticker on Facebook. Friends can directly support the initiative 2 Euro a month help. <laughs> I was really happy this table toured to many unusual places like church conventions, uh, cinemas and sport events like the German Cup final after show party. It was great. Um, uh, but it's not all about cash. You know? Today, a lot of payments are done with a credit card. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Are done with a credit card. So we thought, let's build a billboard which supports this payment method now. Okay. This poster makes giving easier than ever before. And you can see the result of your donation. Your credit card donation can provide daily bread for a family in Peru. or help an imprisoned Filipino child return to normal life. Although this sounds simple, synchronizing the digital poster with a complex card verification system was quite a challenge. And the poster had a lasting impact. When donors received their credit card statement, they were asked to turn their single donation into a monthly one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Something missing. No, it was wrong, okay. What's happening here? <laughs> no, you've seen this already. Okay, ignore this, okay. Okay, I bet many of you say these things are way more expensive than a normal donation box. Yes, that's true. But another truth is, it's not only about collecting money with these installations. It's about brand awareness. Videos about these things are shared, pictures are taken, comments are written. So in the end, not only the donators became part of the brand communication. And look at me today, I am here to tell you about this. After 25 years in advertising, uh, working for cars, beer, shower gels, and chocolate, this campaign really remains in my head and in my heart. Be playful, not pitiful. So, for anyone who wants to donate in the old-fashioned way, <coughs> I will take the box now back to its previous location. So, please donate if you want to prove me wrong. Thank you.